What's up, everyone? It's Matt and this will be a review of a one ninth scale resin bust of Mad Max. So this is produced by a buddy of mine, um, Heng Hilger. Um, I did his uh, um, prototypes last year of the Danger Girls, the one six scale pieces, which I think he still may have some of. So I'm going to put a link down to his Facebook profile. So if you're interested in this piece, you can send him a private message. I don't want to mess up the pricing because he gave it to me in euros and US dollars. So I'm just like, if anyone who's interested in this, send him a message and he'll give you all the information. He has it in several scales. He has it on one sixth scale, one ninth, which is this, and then one twenty fifth or 75 millimeters. So he's got three scales. So he sent me the one ninth to review and it's very nicely done. He uses ownage. So the factory's ownage that he uses. So the quality is super high. Send you a nice little, uh, metallic kind of print of the parts and kind of how it goes together and a little description here 11 pieces some of some assembly required parts list uh, this is number 18 of 49 you can't see it because of the, the shine 18 of 49 and it's been like uh, stamped with his logo which is really nice so uh let's take a look at this i unpacked it last night and it's it's done very well first of all the lightness of um mel gibson that uh, mel gibson is damn near spot on looks really really good um i don't know the sculptor's name i don't think he has it on here no i don't know the sculptor's name of that i would tell you so um unless it's on the bottom nope so sculpt is nice really nicely done and of course ownage does some of the best if not the best uh 3d printing and casting so the casting is really sharp um this guy's leather jacket reproduced very nicely the belt looks great a lot of detail there's no cleanup, you know, give it a wash and then you're ready to go. There is some seam work you'll have to do to uh, get this to look right, but nothing major. So there's the bust and I think you can tell that the lightness is pretty damn, pretty damn spot on. So whoever did the sculpt did a really good job. And one nice scale. So it's a nice scale, you know, I'm a larger scale figure guy. So I would personally do a one six scale or one quarter, but this is nice. I do have a couple uh, one tenth busts from Nuts Planet. So this is just right about that same scale. Um, so for his arms, they're casted individually. So his left arm is holding his shotgun. And this is done really nicely too. And it's crazy how thin owner is able to print and cast the barrels hollow. So the barrels are hollow, which is pretty impressive. Um, <clears throat> so this key's in here. I might use some blue tech to hold some of this together. And for this part, you might have a little bit of seam work right in here, but nothing bad. Like, other than that, the rest of it's hidden by his uh, piece of armor here on his shoulder. So I don't think he's going to do anything there. Um, I'm going to get some blue tack just to hold it together. Because it fits good, it's just not, there's no magnets or anything in this piece. And you don't need magnets because you glue it all together. <laughs> so I'm just going to blue tack them together real quick. And so the fit might be a little off because I got blue tack in the joint. So that fits very nicely. Like that and now his uh, left arm i said them, this is his right arm turn this, his left arm is holding his dog and this is the one spot where you'll probably have to do some seam work so now when i first was messing with this yesterday I was like oh man the fit's not very good but once you get it in there it does fit very nicely um there's a little bit of a trick to kind of there we go so the dog's against his waist here and you'll have a seam to fix right here in the shoulder which isn't too bad luckily the leathers there's no texture so it's a real simple easy seam to fill and fix. So that's done nicely. Um, then it goes on this base, which I'll the base is simple. Just as Mad Max, it's a rectangle. Um, but we'll look at that in a second. So he's holding his dog, and here are the other parts for the dog. Not the blue tech goes on. On either side of the base, you get these nice plaques. And those fit on perfectly, like so. It's a pretty short, fairly short video because this. It's a nice piece and you know, once it's together, we'll do some measurements, but I'm gonna blue tack the dog together so the dog's butt goes back here and you have some seam work to do on the dog. I was trying to think if there's a different way they could have done the dog without any um, seam work, but I couldn't think of a way. So I think what they have going on here is pretty good. I got too much blue tack in there. I can't get it together at all now. Just need a little bit. There you go. 
So yeah, so you got a little bit of a seam on the back side of the dog. That's a little tough to get to because it's underneath his arm. So I would put the dog together, seam it, then put the arm on and do it. Um, that way you're not trying to fix the seam while it's on the torso. And I'll come down here in a second and show you. Uh, camera level and then his head goes on and he's got nicely sculpted. I like the bandana. And there you, you don't have a seam because the bandana it creates a natural seam, so you don't have to worry about that. So there's only really two seams, the arm and the back side of the dog. It's pretty good. Not too bad. And then he's got um, some tiny little pieces here. He's got um, a pistol. Yeah, look at the picture. I don't know. I haven't tried putting this together until really until just now. Oh, that goes in his belt. There's a nice little key down there. It's really small, but it, oh, it fits perfectly. <laughs> it's really nice how that works. Come down. Pinch myself. Nothing but, nothing but the best camera work as usual. So the gun goes right in there in the belt very nicely. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a, um, a wrench on a chain. Just like it hangs from down here. So this is, a, okay, this is interesting. So this is a continuation of the leather strap on his jacket. So I don't know if you need to do a seam there or not. It could just be considered like a, um, a buckle. And there's one last piece here. There's two little pieces. This is... Um, like a tie. That's gonna go on his arm here. Again, keys perfectly. And I got a little tiny piece. What is this? I think it's that. I don't even know what that is. It's tiny, whatever it is. Where's that go? So this comes up under right here. There's a little key there. It may not stay. There we go. I'm not sure what that is. We'll put it on. So there you go. There's the one ninth version of this Mad Max bus uh, produced by Hen Hilger. Again, I don't know who the sculptor is. It's not on the information sheet. Great little piece though. Um, no, there's no cleanup from the casting. The only work you have to do before painting is again, you gotta seam the dog's rear end, which I would do that first and then put the arm on and seam that. Um, that fits perfectly. So like his the his paw rests perfectly around the base. It's, there's no gap or anything. Um, but yeah, you know, it's done by owner, so great job. Uh, quick measurements for the one night scale piece of the base width is right at, um, right at five inches. The depth is right at three inches, so three by five for the depth, and then your height is gonna be right at, base and all, uh, right about four inches. So it's a good size piece, even though it's ninth scale, um, I think it's a great piece. I, my one crit, um, and I was looking at this yesterday, maybe the base could be a little bit smaller. Um, other than that, I just think the base is maybe a little too wide. Maybe I would have shrunken it in maybe 20%. I don't know, I think it looks great. Um, the quality is 100% there. Ownage sculpt is really nice. The likeness of Mel Gibson is spot on. And all these little details like the gun and the belt, this little wrench hanging off his jacket, and whatever the hell this is, I don't know. I haven't watched Mad Max in, I can't remember the last time I saw Mad Max. <laughs> the Mel Gibson original Mad Max has been years. So I don't know, I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure it's something, but I don't know. Someone can educate me. But I'll put Hens, Hens, um, information down below in the link if you want to contact him for either the 1 6th, the 1 9th, or the 1 25th scale or 75 millimeter version. He has all three for sale and um, comes from Germany. So um, shipping on this, I think uh, he paid for shipping. He sent this for me to review. So I'm not sure what the shipping was. 
I did not pay for this. Um, it was a, it was sent to me to review. So full disclosure. Um, but yeah, my one crit is really, I think the base is just a tad too wide. I, I shrink it by me 10, 20%. Um, uh, but everything else looks really good. So yeah, hit them up if you like Mad Max. I think it's a great sculpt. I think the, the kit's great. So, uh, send them a PM on Facebook and get yourself one. As always, thanks for watching. This is Matt Rosick. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.